Hello, my name is John Watts, and I'm the senior pastor of Zionsville United Methodist Church. And our congregation has a long history in Boone County and in the town of Zionsville that has stretched all the way back to 1854. Through those years, our congregation has grown. And we've moved, we've relocated several times. And most recently, 10 years ago, we moved to our current spot and our current location to better serve the, the community and the people of our congregation. Now, as I said, we do have a long, long history, and through that history, we've identified our mission as a Christian community to be lifting the human spirit, to be touched by the Holy Spirit. We also have seen recently that we have a great opportunity because in four years, we're going to be celebrating our 175th anniversary as a congregation. We want to do something significant to honor that. And so we're going to launch a new capital campaign to completely eliminate all the debt that we have on our building and our facilities. We believe that that's going to better equip us and position us to do even more programming, more mission, and more service in our community. I've asked a couple of our church families to share a little about this congregation and what it has meant to them and their families and how it has lifted their spirit to be touched by the Holy Spirit. I'm inviting you not only to listen to their stories, but to consider how you might get involved in a capital campaign and also to ask you to join with all of us to continue to be the kind of Christian community that will shout the gospel, not just to our people, but to our community and to our world. When they asked me to do this, I'd like to start off by saying, as any of you that know me know, I'm very involved in the... Uh, youth of this group, of this uh, church, and it was completely coincidental that today was the day they chose for me to come up here. So I think that shows you once again how God works, so uh, having me up here. But my wife and I, Marita and I, joined this church in 1985, a few months after we were married, and got to know some wonderful people right away through those years, and through the confirmation or the new member class and such, and so we, we loved being a member of this church, but late in the 80s we got transferred away back to Ohio for me and we're gone a couple years Then we came back and got an opportunity to go through the new member class a second time just to make sure we really had it down <laughs> and so we went through that and at that point we now were on the way to having a couple children so at that point life got pretty busy for us and we got involved in all the things that you would imagine that uh, young couples that have children get involved in. Specifically, I like to mention Joe Miller's Sunday school class, which was uh, even once in a while, we actually went over the lesson that was in the class, as well as the 20, 30-something group that was real active in those days, and all the events that we did in that, including the infamous progressive dinners, which were famous around this church for quite a few years. But then one, one Sunday, I'm walking through the church, uh, the old Oak Street Church, and, and David Powell came up to me and said, hey, we're going on a youth rafting trip and taking all the youth out east to go rafting, white rider rafting. Would you like to help us as a volunteer? Well, I will tell you, I, I came to know Christ through my youth group and my Methodist church in, in uh, Millersport, Ohio, a little town in Ohio. And... So I thought, well, that's a great way for me to help, even though my children were very little at that point. It's a great way to help. So unfortunately, all good things don't necessarily happen in youth events, as any of you that have worked with that as well. So when we had every kid in the river, we thought maybe that wasn't the best idea we'd ever come up with. But, but it was a wonderful experience because, once again, I got to meet some wonderful people, including a mom by the name of Linda Johnson, who happens to be sitting right behind me at the moment. So it was wonderful that I got, to, I got to meet them. But then we came back, and shortly after that, we hired our first youth minister, Brad Johnson. And the next thing I know, it wasn't a few months later, I'm playing the drums on Sunday night in some youth band and doing all kinds of things with the youth of this church and enjoying it very much. And then they started this contemporary worship thing, and we got very heavily involved with that. And then my career called me again to move this time west. And so... We went out west for a few years, 
and came back, and lo and behold, yes, I probably, my wife and I, probably the only members that have been through this new member class three times. <laughs> so, so it was uh, quite an interesting thing. So, but we, we enjoyed that. By this time, our kids were old enough to be going through confirmation, like the kids today, as well as getting involved in the, in the youth program. So I got myself plugged back in, this time with my, my two uh, kids, Jenna and Jean, being involved, and got very involved in the youth of this church. And I tell you, I, I have been blessed by, by all the things that they do for me. And I say that because while, yes, we may give hours towards helping them, what they give back in, the, in not only the crazy things they do at that age to have fun, but the incredibly emotional things that, and spiritual things that they do. Things like a couple weeks ago, we, we experienced the 30-hour famine week again and, and the depth. You know, here's kids giving away their whole weekend, basically, and not eating. And teenagers not eating is not exactly the easiest thing to do. But they sacrificed for others that needed their help. And the, the program we have for seen, the seniors, the Anchors Away program, which Walt Maxson was so instrumental in getting starting and started at this church. And those things. And, and Sunday night, if you've not had an opportunity to experience them, Sunday night merge um, experience, I would tell you, take that opportunity because we invite you always to come when there's a regular, regular program going on because it truly, what you'll see this morning is just a, a small taste of what you'll get if you come on a Sunday morning. But Marita and I have been blessed by this church and I certainly have been blessed by the youth of this church in particular and so I thank you for taking just a few minutes to listen to my message this morning and God bless all of you.